Kevin IK is the awesome facility with Amaya to connect motion characters with other motion characters. So you can have a character in motion and apply that motion to another character. It's also great at being able to do inverse kinematics, which means being able to make your hand wave so simply with a character. Now this character has no skeleton in it, and I made sure that all of its connections were broken, which might happen if you see any of these being read up here, such as this key. You can either delete that key, right click, delete. But sometimes you'll see a gray spot up there as well, meaning that the input is bound to something else. So you would just right click and break connection like this, and then you're ready to get started with your character. I'm going to export this character. File export selection, choose an FBX file, and it's going to be called character5. I'm going to place this in the assets folder. Let me go up one right there to the assets folder and click on export selection. Going to Mixamo characters and I'm just taking this step to build a bone system inside. Other videos will cover building bones later on. Here I want a skeleton structure. And so you can have built a whole character, but then when it comes time to apply motions, you need a rig on the inside. Go to Mixmo and click on Upload a Character. Drag my character into here. And this character has no bones, unlike previous characters, like the Ready Player Me characters, the one Mixmo that do have joints in it. Now Mixmo will be used to create a bone system on the inside. And to do that, you click the Next button after your character loads and you just take these circles and place them where they belong. This one goes on the chin, the, that was the wrist, elbows, knees, and center of mass right there. And here's the instructions to follow. Take the defaults and just click on next. And when it's all done, you'll see a preview of your character. This character didn't have any texture, textures on it. I'm just focusing in on getting this character to the human IK. I'll click on Next, Next again. Now you're all ready to apply different motions to your character. The focus of this, though, is to use the human IK within Maya. So I'm going to click on Download, and I'm downloading this in the T-Pose. Download. Let me just do a new scene. Next step is to import your character again. And this character is different than the initial one that left Maya because this character was processed through Mixmo. So its skeleton aligns with Mixmo. That means you can apply motion clips to the skeleton. If I want to see the joints, if you go into shading x ray joints, what you use Mixmo for was to create this joint system, automatic rigging of a character. You can look that up on the web, automatic rigging. You'll come across a few sites that could do it. Mixmo is one of those sites. I need a way to relate this character, which is a Mixmo character, with, with a Mixmo naming convention of bones. Holding down the plus key, you can see all the bones here. I need a way to relate this character to Maya's system, and we'll do that in a second. Right now, you can see it's rigged up. I could use regular kinematics to move my character, which means just selecting a bone and moving it and animating across time. But that's not very efficient or fun. Instead, go to Human IK, click on, click Create Character Definition. And since this was processed through, through Mixmo, many characters on the web or in software are compatible with Human IK. And the quick way to find out if it's compatible or not, select a bone, Click on this folder icon right there and, and leave human IK, HIK selected as a template. Click OK. If everything shows up as green or even if one, one thing is yellow or two, that's OK. Got a green check mark or a little yellow warning sign. As long as it's not red, everything's good to go. When I mean good to go, now all you have to do is select here and go to Control Rig. Wait a moment. And there's the control rig. And now, just like with the skeleton, you could select the controller and you could make your character's arms relax a little bit. Like this. You see that the character is ready to animate with you. Let me hit an undo a few times. Now, 
a bonus of all this, you create the skeleton through Mixamo. If instead of the control rig, you click on none and you go to Mixamo and download, let's say, a motion from Mixamo, there's a dance, such as a dance like this. Make sure when you download it to do it without the skin because we already have a skinned character within the scene. Go back to Maya, select your character, go to Windows Animation Editors, Time Editor, click on this button to pull this character into the Time Editor. So the little folder icon with the plus sign, and here's our character doing nothing. Drag the motion clip, download it from Mixamo into the scene. I'm going to delete this animation on the character, which was doing nothing. I'm going to zoom out of the timeline right now. I'm on a frame. Option key, middle mouse button, and use the wheel to zoom out. Option, middle mouse button, or alt, middle mouse button to pan. Now the character is dancing. To get this motion onto this character and then use the human IK to control the character, which was just set up, select this clip and go to bake and select bake, bake to scene. Now you can delete this clip and your character knows how to dance within the scene without the time editor because all those keys from the time editor from that motion was baked back onto this character. So you use the time editor to blend up motion. If you go under this big button and select bake, bake skeleton to control. I know it's off the screen, can't help that, sorry. But if you bake, second option, it, first option is bake skeleton, bake to control rig. Just wait a moment. All those keys from the timeline are being baked onto the control rig. And as soon as the timeline finishes, you'll see your control rig there. So after the character stops doing its dance, like around here, I'm going to extend my timeline to 500 frames. Maybe I'll select that controller right there, and the character will take a bow. So click here, and go to the human IK, go to partial body mode, and just make the character take a small bow, S key, and S key again to, let me rotate my character the other way, up. And I'm going to put my character's arms at the side. So this is showing how you could use a motion clip and then do additional motions with the human IK and the control rig. Putting my arms down for the character. There we go. And there we go. Because the character is very humbled. All of your applause. Ready? and dance, 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 and thank you for watching this video.